Hi everyone, my name is Diane Bruni. I'd like to let you know about a course I'm currently teaching and is available online for people to participate in from anywhere in the world. Um, I've set up a secret Facebook group so you can join us for this course. Um, but before I get into the details about the course, I'd like to share with you a little bit more information about my, my story. I started doing yoga when I was 19 years old. My first teacher was Yogi Bhajan, and my first yoga class was a white tantric yoga weekend intensive. Whoa, what a way to start. Um, I did that probably for about seven years with the 3HO people here in Toronto. Um, and then I discovered Iyengar yoga, and I was so excited because I got to now focus on things of the body. I was also studying shiatsu at the time, so it really made a lot of sense to me that I'm studying the body now from many different angles and perspectives. While I was doing Iyengar yoga, I heard about this thing called Ashtanga yoga, and this was in 1995, before there were any, um, uh, before Google, and before the internet. Um, all we had back then was the yoga journal. That was our only connection to the yoga community in the world. Through the yoga journal, I ordered Richard Freeman's video. It arrived at my door and I started practicing Ashtanga yoga with the video. After a few months of doing that, I started sharing it with my friends and they started coming over and we started doing it together with the video. Next thing I knew, I was hired to teach at a studio here in Toronto and I started teaching Ashtanga yoga. I ended up being the first Ashtanga teacher in Canada. Whoa, how did that happen? I didn't know what the heck I was doing. But there was no one else doing any of it, so I, I, I happened to be the person who heard about it first, I guess. I eventually opened a studio in Toronto called the Downward Dog Yoga Studio. Um, started off as an Ashtanga only studio and then because of all the injuries that we were finding trying to like get brand new people into such an intense practice we began to modify the practice and it turned into more of a vinyasa studio so I was, I was part of the first wave of vinyasa flow teachers in North America I loved it, it was fun, it was a beautiful experience, but what I started to notice um, when I got a little bit older and also from just doing it so much for so many years was I started to get injured and a lot of the people around me were getting injured and I began to question why. And um, I kept my questioning on the quiet side because I was still a studio owner and it was not good for business to be questioning in public what the heck is going on here. Why is everybody like hurting their hamstrings? Why are people hurting their shoulders? Anyways, five years ago in 2012, I was diagnosed with stage three breast cancer. And when I, when I got that diagnosis and that sunk in, I asked myself, what do I need to say out loud that I'm not saying? What am I not dealing with in my life? And it was at that moment that I realized I was not dealing with the reality for me and my body. And that was the way I was practicing wasn't working for me anymore. And I could not in good faith continue to teach in that way. So that was the turning point for me, big, big, major turning point. I decided at that point to um, try to figure out a way to leave the studio that I co-owned. And I'm very grateful that that all worked out and I was able to leave on relatively good terms. Um, when I began my, my questioning period uh, about seven years ago, <clears throat> I was guided towards a group of people called the Axisyllabus Movement Research Community. They are a worldwide group of people um, who are exploring, studying, researching healthy movement principles. The founder, Frey Faust, was an injured dancer. And he was, he was 
really wanting to keep dancing. So he began to study why dancers were getting injured and what was going on in the dance world. So eventually he began to teach these principles of healthy movement to the dance community. From there it spread. It spread into the wider community. It's now beginning to spread into the communities where people are interested in movements, such as the yoga community, such as the rehab world, such as the fitness world. So um, the AXA syllabus has been a major influence in my life in the past seven years. I've also more recently taken a course in dynamic neuromuscular stabilization by the Prague School of Rehab. They have a whole program based on childhood developmental movement patterns. These primal human movements are um, fascinating to me and it's pretty much all I'm interested in teaching right now. So my course that I'm offering is a 12-week pre-registered course and it's taking place in a beautiful studio called Yoga Yoga in Toronto. The classes are all being videotaped. They're organic. It's a work in progress. It's the first time that I've really taken this information that I've been trying to figure out, integrate into my own practice, and, and bring it into a group setting that, and, and try to make it cohesive and make sense. Um, so I'm excited about sharing this um, new, new way of moving. Um, someone described it the other day as kindergarten movement. And it really struck a chord with me because that's what it feels like. It feels like I'm learning to move again as if I were a baby learning to move again. And I wonder all those years of doing such specialized movement, the advanced yoga postures, very specialized, very skill oriented movement practice. I'm wondering now, um, why? I'm wondering now why that was so exciting to me. I'm not even sure, but it was. It was very exciting to me. Now what's really interesting to me is the exact opposite. The exact opposite being like the most simple, the most basic, the most primal movement pattern. And um, I'd like to invite any of you who are interested in backing up your your movement practice. So if you've been doing like advanced yoga, for instance, you might be interested to learn these more simple movement patterns and they might help you in all your other movement practices that you do. I don't know. Uh, it's, it's, a, it's a question. The information if you'd like to join us is all available on my website you'll have access to a secret Facebook group. Every week, the videos are gonna be posted in this group along with the notes. So you'll be able to watch me teaching this material. You'll be able to practice along or just observe whatever you want. And you'll be able to participate in the conversations that are taking place in the secret Facebook group. There, it's secret because it's based on the information that we're actually practicing and researching together in the moment. So it's an exciting opportunity to tap in to some new information, which is actually not new information. It's actually old information. It's actually the most primal information that is available to us as humans, how we are actually programmed to move from the time we were little babies to about 13 months. I'm only covering that range in this course. Um, so if that, for any reason, sounds at all interesting to you, please go to my website for all the information. I hope to get to know you a little better online or hopefully one day in person somewhere. 
Thanks for listening.